Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. <clears throat> right, okay. I want to see what this training center is like for us. When you leave something at home or just need a bike to eat, vending machines can be real lifesavers. I'm sure uh, Wedge knows quite a lot about vending machines. How do you enter the... Oh wait, it's down there. That's like a bonus you can do for the the extra experience and stuff. Hmm. I'm just gonna rest here. Whenever you're ready, just let us know. I think they're good now. Remind me, you've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way to deal with big groups. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay, let's go over the plan one last time. <sighs> you start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. <laughs> and us? We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on them. Oh, now we get this flashback. Young hey. Cloud! So, what did you want to talk about? He has a ponytail as well. When Sal out. comes, I'm leaving town. <laughs> I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best. And we all know how well that ended up. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. So I won't be back for a long Shit. time. Shit. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? I'll try. Young Cloud sounds a bit old for Just... Nah, he's like you think? I think when we're older maybe pubescent or something. Soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Wait, how old is he? He's probably hitting his puberty phase by now. Do. They save people. That's Probably maybe why his voice is 12 like that. years old. Maybe uh, 13. Fine. I promise. It's beautiful! you're 
having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. In the never-ending cycle of life and death. That's the signal. Trapped in a wall of emotion. Let's go. Right. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. It smells like trap. Everything that lives is designed to end. Intruders. Maybe we are perpetually trapped in a never-ending cycle of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? Ah, oh, he's fucking dead. Oh, he, he's... he's... that's just in his insides, that's his guts just leaking out. There's going to be, there's going to be, um, like, a rated R mod for this, I'm sure. I don't think the game will be that moddable. Oh, wait, isn't this Unreal? Uh, I think this might be Unreal 4. Could be. Because there's no way these guys are still standing in one piece after all this. Uh, surely it's not going to be a case of remember, Cloud has never killed a guy. Big fucking sword. In you're, the cle face. you're cleaving cunts in two like your guts. <laughs> he just clicked through, he didn't want anything to do with it. Oh shit. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Give me a bit more time and I got you. Give it up! Putting up a fight, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. The question is, how do you use summons? Uh, I believe it'll probably be the limit break bar. Here we go. Not enough. Oh shit, he's got a shotgun. Cheers, man. Just gonna heal. Oh. Get ready. Fire. Yeah. Quite a lot of shit going on right now. Oh my god. Still in. This is gonna hurt. No holding back. Time to get serious. Here we go. All right, yeah. Enough. Steady. Let's do that. 
that. Yeah, Cloud has a parry mechanic and I fucking love it. You almost dropped that on me, you cunt. Ah, someone's unleashing the hounds. Guess this would be a time to use this for it. Not part of the plan, huh? Nah, I can already do cross slash. I'm gonna save that. Oh, actually, I need assesses, aren't I? Allow me. So easy to forget that, because it's like... The, the game only mentions it once. It's no case I can... In like scanning's like second nature and like a slow based battle system, so you get the elements. But this is more action based, so yeah, good luck. Yes, be careful. Yikes! Uh, guys? I fucking hero. Just, honestly, like, okay. just bring out... Shinra just should just have, like, more <laughs> fucking... ...dogs. Honestly, that's, like, Cloud's kryptonite right now. I can't even speak right now. Ah, two of them. Look what I found. Let's give these jerks a taste of their own medicine. Pulses. Oh, now I can summon. Still in it. He's just gonna do shit. Drive. Let's do 
Oh, I want to see what the other summons look like now. I think he's going to self-destruct now. Good nice. Job. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, no. Is that, that, that fucking cowboy in Cowboy Bebop? Also, that is a mullet. Yeah. Right there. I just realized. This this guy is... He, he's like... What's his name? Chadley or something. Roshi. Roshi. A second dance, just the two of us. That business in front, party in the back. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Uh, 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 right. Uh, Come on. Uh, 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 It's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But, for all the miles on the clock... I'm just as fast as I ever was! Oh, Jess, we're here, man. He is not taking damage. Okay, he does ice damage for like almost 300. Fire? Hang on. Okay, that's decent. He's got a fucking thunder. That, a thunder. Yep. thunder. That was a level 2. I was gonna read that until so long. Mm. Yikes. Damn. Need to time that right. Okay, the parry window is very generous. No holding back. Get ready. Try Enough. <laughs> GG. Satisfied? 
<laughs> With such fleeting pleasure? Hardly. <sighs> there are higher heights to which you and I can still soar. He just wants me. We really must do this again. Until then, try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. <laughs> just channels the like pure dickhead energy it is fucking unbelievable let's go right <laughs> Run! Run while you can! Who the hell are these guys? Your team shouldn't be here. Glad yours is. Come here. The fuck? Who brought the fucking resistance? I thought we were the uh, resistance. Will be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Oh. Are holier than thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Ah. Think there's any truth? Ah, of course. That, that makes course. sense. You tell me. Yeah, I can believe yeah. it. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. Okay, mission complete. Let's make our way back to the lot. Right. There's gonna be pe people playing this, and now I. What the fuck is Wu Tai? Looking a lot more crowded now. Security's out in force. Just what we need. Hostile forces have breached the 7 6 annex and learned. So, are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, he'd only get upset. Why is that? There's a soldier who wouldn't understand. I'll tell him you're worried about it, huh? You made it! Over here! <laughs> okay! Forma, let's go! That's a lot of boys. Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot easier, but... Wait, where's Wedge? <gasps> Wedge! <laughs> that was close. We'll go get him. <laughs> Hey, buddy. 
How you doing? Come on. Not my finest hour. You get hit? Just swinged, I think. Oh, shot! Really? Let me see. Are we seriously doing this here? That's... Wow. <laughs> oh, that. You guys are the worst. Huh? Your ass is fine. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a gunshot. Guts up. Is that a smile I spy? God damn it, Jesse! Don't do it to us. It's not safe here. We should go. <laughs> Copy, Copy that. I love these guys. These guys, I'm gonna be fucking devastated, man. I ask. <laughs> a part of me is really hoping that it's fucking retconned. Maybe. Either retcon or as a way to fucking save them. I doubt it, but a man can dream. People have dreamt like this remake for like 15 plus years. I'm very sure we can dream like these guys surviving. All residents are to return to their homes and remain indoors until further notice. I repeat, for your safety, go home. I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey! It was those terrorists, right? There has been no attack. Hmm. Mm. No. no. Let me just don't, walk casually by. Don't mind all the gunfire. It's fine, guys. The emergency has been declared. All civilians are to remain indoors. The cooperation is appreciated. <sighs> Fucking good tunes here. Dad's sake. Hey, Not crates, apparently. Mm. Huh? Uh, Cloud was just saying how he hopes to come back and try the Midgar special next time. Really, huh? Cloud said that? Sure did. Once a whole oh, crates. Himself. Crates on your left. Right. That's that's right. Hmm. Maybe I'll lend Mama hand next time too. That'd be awesome. Super duper awesome. Wedge, you're a fucking ah. running cycle. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, you got it. Oh, hello. Orb of Revival. I don't need that. I might equip that now, actually. Actually, uh, that'll be important for later. Arise? What's arise? Raise. Arise? Yeah, the level 2. I wonder what that is. Could be all life or something. Or Maybe team. raise is just to bring... What is raise? Well... Is that just, like, revive? And then maybe arise is also healing them at the same time? Maybe. Could be a full heal revive. Hmm. We'll try the chokeable. Choke Chocoflit and non elemental. Uh upgrade.
Oh, that's a Buster Sword, but... Uh. I just want to do the Iron Blade. So where are we going now? Should be somewhere around here. Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean half figured? 50 50 is pretty good odds if you ask me. <laughs> this is gonna be Wait, fun. Uh, uh, <sighs> Guess it makes sense when you're um Thanks, guys. at the top bit. I really appreciate Music's all of a sudden fucking me. top gear. And like top I gear, before, top gun. I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't wanna complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey, Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. Whoa! S stop it! Whoa. What in the hell are you trying to... Uh. Whoa. Easy, you'll make us... Whoa! Not if you do first. <sighs> Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Chill! Give me a minute! No. Why you have to be such a hard ass, bro? I ain't your bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> cloud, cloud. Clouds Clouds falling a lot faster. He's just gonna make a fucking crater. I ain't your bro. <laughs> Isn't there like a minimum? Isn't there like a minimum distance? I'm sure it's high enough. I'm sure it's high enough. Don't worry about it. I wish I could have done more. Just got hurt. You did enough. You took one for the team. Be proud. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah. Together, we can take on the world. I. It's so <laughs> obvious. I. Like, who? Who are these two cunts? Like parachuting from like the top. That. Hmm. I wonder who that might be. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> it's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. I'm not your bro. Cut that out. <laughs> this way. God damn it. Think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe? I guess. Ah. You know, check on them? We'll pass by their places anyway. Sure. You saw it too. 
He's fucking looking at me. It's a wee cottage. Well, this is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things. Worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. He wanted to leave Midgard. <sighs> Scares me to death thinking there might be more to come. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling okay. you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. They know about Jesse and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't bro. fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves the play. Guys okay. Loud, remember? I uh, <laughs> You know about the secret I'm gonna try to find some And the place with all the cats happens to be his. Of course. Hey there, bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. These little guys are on guard duty today. Okay. Uh, I'm not used to cats looking at cats, man. I'm used to cats cooking my food. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softy. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. <laughs> Nah. Ah. Oh, I missed you too. Oh, big ums acting so tough. And you, Reggie, you are just the cutest. Oh, Reggie! Do you want a belly rub? Hey, bro, want to chill with me and the gang for a bit? Uh, who's the gang? The cats, dummy. Who else? Bigamous Rex. <laughs> Bigamous Rex. Reginaldo. Right. <laughs> I'll go on, Cloudy. You know what? Checking on the others again for me. Thanks. Oh, and have a good night. Mind checking on the others again. Oh, and have a good night. Bigamous. That's Bigamous Rex. Biggest dickus. Biggest dickus. People from the Undercity are allowed to do them. Secret jobs? It's just a rumor, but the pay is supposed to be amazing. Thing is, you can't apply. You have to be selected. That sounds pretty sketchy, actually. Well, if it isn't close at least knock. To was wondering when she was up. camping at the door. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. Hmm. And now for the cherry on top. Barrier. Ooh. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh. Okay. Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for Jesse, a Jesse, please are don't do this. That desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal. Yo, this is this is dangerous. This is too dangerous. There's there's no uh, okay fine option as well, which sucks. It's either no or no. <laughs> Yenny Penny has joined the chat, uh, aiming a gun at me again. I guess I'll have Don't to go. Shoot. I'm a Don't. virgin. 
Actually, no, 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 no. Fucking. What are you on about? Don't shoot! <laughs> you're not. You remember the clip? Don't shoot! I'm a virgin! Oh shit, I've just posted cats. <laughs> I, 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 I'm practicing my Second Amendment rights, that non-existent, but still, we, you know, what we have here now is a fucking Mexican standoff. Y even Locks join us with the fucking Mexican standoff. With me fucking crying as I point my gun. You, let's be honest, you're not exactly a variant type. The No promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I make a mean pizza. I'll have oh my god! Oh my god. Black Millie, red jelly? I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh This is horrible! Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. That'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. Jesus Christ. The fast on that girl. Bad idea. Yes, bad idea. <laughs> Run the fuck away, Clown. Run! <laughs> Run! Save yourself a T4 or someone, for God's sake. Oh, hey, Bugs. Yeah, he says, how are you guys doing? They're doing oh, great. Hey, this Clown. remake is awesome. Jump? How's Wedge? He's fine. That's good to hear. Tomorrow's a really big day for all of us. When Wedge said he'd been shot, I was afraid we'd have to call off the whole damn thing. Heading topside in secret. Don't think I could have faced Barrett if something had happened. But Jesse had been acting weird, and I knew I couldn't just ignore her. Biggs. She must be prepping the bomb right now. But will she be able to finish before morning? Why should go and see if she needs any... Biggs. Huh? Uh, sorry. Our shoot was blown pretty far off course. It felt like a bad omen or something. So... Get some rest. You need it. Roger. Night. Night. And thanks, really. Tomorrow's gonna be a success. I know it. We've all put in the work. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. A good long rest will cure anything. Thanks for the refresher. Appreciate you coming. Hmm. I just can't get over the fucking lighting. Are all off. No? She's probably asleep. Anything I can interact with in here? No. There's still that weird guy next door. Cloud's probably gonna be like, no. I'm, I'm not being anywhere near that. I can't even interact with that, actually. You, you don't want anything to do with it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a thing there. Go back. Uh, oh, wait, no. I think that's, that's just a ladder. ladder. That's a yeah, ladder. Right. Yeah. 
You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. Oh yeah, Johnny. You thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. A long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... I love the, the motion capture. Hmm. Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. Do you want to talk? But it's so much more spontaneous. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's with and you subtle. With me? Oh, especially with Jesse. She winks on a fucking time. Uh huh. Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh. <sighs> Pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably that that, that camera is yeah? suspiciously. <laughs> Good night then. Like her face <laughs> up here. <laughs> Cameraman knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> Why does it have square for menu? Uh, I was about to ask. Why? Why is that a thing? I'm gonna press it. Sleep. The fuck? And dream the sweetest dreams. Your sleep paralysis demons be like. Oh. We were getting ready to set out when those things showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Ready? You know it. The shit is this? Oh, it goes straight into the menu before the fight. Okay. Just in case you need to equip white material or something. Yeah. Let's head for the bar. Jesus. How many of them are they? Uh, it'll probably just be a few of them. Yeah, there's only like four. Magic didn't work? I'm just gonna put a barrier on Cloud. I kinda wish she was a bit more aggressive. What are they? Use magic attacks. Oh, okay. They're resistant to, resistant to most immunities, it seems. Hmm. Thank you. 
physical contact first. That's all you can tell me? More of them? We're running out of time. Yeah, over here. Do you try turning down the music a bit? Uh, yeah, sure. I think like seven. Again? Are they trying to stop us from reaching the others? Cloud, this way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's like trying to fight a hurricane. Stay on your feet. You don't have to tell me that. We've never seen this before. Nah. I think, I think you need to beat these guys. Ah, oh, okay, she's back now. Can't you do like um a quick map for your buttons? Uh I can. Why is there a black hole? I don't know. Weapon ability learned. I believe that so Cloud can do his triple slash with any weapon now. Dive kicks fucking devastating. Oh. Hang back. Be
my two left feet. <laughs> Easy now. What's going on? What's happening? We ain't putting on a damn show. The hell were those things? Some kind of... I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit will come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. Here's the question, though. Did everyone see that? It didn't, but... Yeah. Well, that's a good question. I assume so. Or, because it's possible that maybe it's just the people that are connected with Cloud that can see it. Yeah. Like, maybe it's the villains, I want to just see, you know, like, fucking invisible shit, like Aerith was at, at the start. Hmm. What? what did you do to your leg? Did, did, does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's enough. Says as she staggers to her feet. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yo, the whole crew's busted. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. <laughs> Barter uh, 100. Clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some help for me, okay? <laughs> Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health. Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Let's get this show on the road. To Marco Reactor 5. Sure, bro. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? <laughs> This'll help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you. Down payment? Soldier boy. Seems so. <laughs> Soldier boy. I should really have a counter for you. At times, I get called Soldier Boy. <laughs> Yo! Can I go behind the bar? Welcome to Valhalla. How may I serve you? <laughs> Was I expecting to go behind the bar? Um... Ah, oh, man, this this is some fucking serious fan service. Ah, forgot to give this to you, bro. Your prize for taking the top spot on the darts leaderboard. You earned it. I right, get up, you. Yeah. After you guys come back from the plate, Thanks, maybe Wedge. we can play around together. With old wedge in charge, this place yeah, hopefully we have time for that. Oh, no, I, I think I'll, call, I'll have to have a break until... Once again, I'm starting to think I'll never have a starring role. There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks, I need them. Can't help but feel that was sarcastic. Hurry back now. You don't want my home-cooked pizza to get cold. Don't be a hero, okay? Just get the job done. I'm counting it's on just you. Italian, you like the pizza. Happen to the others. Good luck out there, bro, and take care. I'm surprised you can't go and see Down. the. Yeah. Not yet, I guess. I wonder if he reacts if I go on the dartboard. <laughs> Here we go again. Just get all the triples. Yeah. 
よし、はい180! Nice, nice. Ah. Ah. Still at the bus, man. Why not go for the bullseye? Uh, yeah, that's like 50. <sighs> Fucked up, though. I, oh, uh, okay. So you need to subtract it exactly to zero. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Like, darts is like the only sport in existence where like the competitors would drink and probably do better. All right. The entire thing is just one massive excuse sure. for a piss up. After you take a deep breath. Huh? It's actually kind of hilarious. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. I think I noticed that. Right, I'm gonna call it there for tonight. So when this, this game is amazing, <laughs> this game is amazing so far. I gotta pace myself because if I if I carry on, we're gonna be here all night. To the second bombing run, I will be here all night, guaranteed. Ah, you know it's too dangerous, man. It's too dangerous. It's temp so tempting. But, yeah. I feel like if this comes out on Steam, I will buy it as well. <laughs> I mean, you, you might... You might have more money on your way and then, like... Just buy the, the PlayStation 5 that shows up in the Philippines. Hmm. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll do like um, a three-disc collection eventually. You know? Uh. Well, that's the thing. Like, how long is it gonna take for them to make um, uh. <laughs> the rest of like Final Fantasy VII, especially in this quality? Because once they get to the overworld and that, the game kind of starts going really fast. Just how is that shit gonna work with um, an open world concern? Well, mm. Not quite open world, but more like a a traditional Final Fantasy, kind of like fifteen, I guess, with the all that traveling. Hmm. I mean, I've not played uh, fifteen, but I've got a good idea just from like looking at videos and stuff. It's a lot of tra traveling around, like very. Um, modern, I guess. But I'm glad that they did. Is so much attention much to detail, more. though. So much yeah, attention I, to detail. Yeah. Not only did they make Midgar look so good, but they added more to the characters yeah. and the yeah. story as well, which is the way that they did it is is just 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 about right. Yeah. Bear in mind, this is like... 15 years? Wait, when did it come out again? Like 2000, the original? Uh, the original one was like 1997, wasn't it? 1997. 19, yeah. Yeah, so that's like... 13 years. Not even that, more like... 23 years. There, there's 23 years of like game development since the original. 
things have been figured out a lot more than they have been before. I mean, what did, um, what did Seven have to go with? They had to go with, like, six other RPGs plus whatever many spin-offs at the time. Mm. And that's just counting all the Final Fantasies, there's a lot of other RPGs then. But mm. we've went through 3D multiple times and now in the open world craze still and now action just all fucking sorts, you know? I I have a feeling that this is going to take uh, overtake Death Stranding. This is, this is a fucking entry point for people who go into Final Fantasy. They might be a bit mm. disappointed that it's not all fast-paced and stuff like what it is, but I mean, this is still quite... This is still FF7. Yeah. Like, it's FF7 at its core still. Yeah, very much. And the, the additional stuff that's added just, it, it doesn't deviate from what it is. It makes it, like, watching it, it makes more sense. It's a bit more engaging than mm. three people stand in a row and take tons of fight monsters and stuff and attacking and stuff. Mm. Like, it looks like a fight. Especially just like what happened back there with all the uh, ring wraiths and stuff. Imagine that if like it was just It'll Cloud just and Tifa, yeah. And then it's just Cloud and Tifa fighting these bopping ring raids. The game's basically like cinematic to the point where it's seamless, and I, I fucking love it when it's like that. There's no loading mm -hmm. screens apart from when you're loading the game and stuff. It's almost like, um, it's almost like watching a movie, but you know that you're still playing. Yeah. Yeah, and so far, there's no games that. There's games that are like okay. This is I'm just watching a movie at this point. Why am I even playing? Yeah. But this game is like, it's like watching a movie and I'm in it. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I, that that's probably like a horrible analogy, but. I mean, they were already pushing like the, what they knew back in FF7. You could see that from a mile away. Mm. Like all the camera shots and. You know, they were being as cinematic as possible back then. Now they've got every every right and ability to be cinematic. They're going all through a hog. You mm. know? Oh, I have to go back to this earlier tomorrow. And just go for it. <laughs> I think after I have my dinner and that, and I'm not distracted with trying to make money on fucking Animal Crossing, like, I will send you a message and we'll just go straight on it. Yes, After yes. my dinner on that, because... Yes. I, I need more. I need more. Alright. Hopefully I'll be a bit more talkative as well. <sighs> um, what I will say, I guess, is the side quests are... The, so far, what we've seen are kind of weak. Yeah, yeah. This I'm saying this is in comparison to Yakuza Zero, where all the side quests are fucking hilarious. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I could probably just avoid the side quests for and just go straight in the game because I don't want to be like overpowered like fuck, you know. It is a, a damn. Uh, wait, I know it's an unfair comparison to. Uh, Crisis Core and its mission system, <laughs> which is I, I know it's a PSP. I and mean stuff, the mission, but the mission system is, is basically just you. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that is tedious. At least I, I've not seen a single bit of like NPC text dialogue yet. It's all voice acted. Yeah, everything is just the amount of effort to make this game look good. They've, they've probably it's, been. It's just. Mm, They've the fan probably service. been, like, planning this for at least 15 years. You've, like, mm. since, like, the start of the PS3 gen. And they've had revision after revision after revision. Someone, someone probably in HQ was like, okay, all of the game is done. Um, and then someone in the staff was like, 
What if we add voice acting to the side quests? That might be a thing because of 15, though. Is, does 15 have a uh, voice acted side quest as well? I'd assume so, but don't quote me on that. Hmm. They're, they're definitely taking a lot of lessons they learnt from 15 and going, right, we have spent so much fucking time on this game. And I heard that 15 was kind of a mediocre 15 um, was meant to be a spin-off of 13. Hmm. It was meant to be like... Verses, it, like 13 verses or some shit. And it took so long <laughs> to make the game, they just thought, fuck it, we might as well make it 15. <laughs> it, 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 like the development, and even still, after like, however long that was under development for, like, I think it was 10 years. How long was 15 in development? 10 years! It was 10 years. It was in development for 10 years. When was FF7 Remake announced? Um. Uh. It was. 2015? 2015, I assume. Hold on. FF7 Remake is an actual playing score. Uh. Huh, uh. Huh. Remake was announced in 2015 following years of fan requests and rumors. But when did development actually start? Um, 2015 June. Wait, that's when they first announced it. Right, during E3. Yeah, because, yeah, that was the. I mean, for all we know, they could have started. Development quite, way before then. Yeah, they might have. It was quite early back I, in um, the PS4's lifespan. Mm. Okay. Uh, FF7 remake is a from the ground up remake due to release on April 20. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Here's um, here's the Wikipedia. Um, I'll post it on. I'll post it on Let's Play. Fuck it. The whole saga of um, remakes. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Actually. Oh, okay. Mm. So, in January 2010, Tetsuya Nomura followed up on his previous statement, stating, uh, "Fans are look. Oh wait, hold on. Rumors. Is Shit. Um." Okay, the release of Crisis Core F7, um, the ending shows the beginning of FF7 in a modern CG style, but by Tarkar reading to be continued, we know that. Mm. Rumors surfaced again due to photos of a Best Buy ad stating the game was to be released on August 16, 28, uh, 2008. Um, despite excitement surrounding the chance of a remake, Square Enix consistently denied any and all rumors of several occasions, with photos of an ad for Cloud Volume 2 appearing on the internet. The excitement rose again, the ad was revealed to be for a book. Okay. For a book? In, mm, in December of 2009, Tetsuya Nomura hinted an announcement is to come sometime in 2010, promising a game highly requested by fans, some of which have personally requested it from him, and the reactions he expects in the announcement is downright huge. Again, this led to immense speculation of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, in January of 2010, Tetsuya Nomura followed up on his previous statement, stating, Fans are looking forward to an often rumored remake of FF7, but I don't believe this will happen for the time being. For some, this seemed like the end, but others argued that for the time being, quote unquote, meant a, meant a remake could surface in the future. February 2010, Yoshinari Kitase stated he would like to take part in a remake of Final Fantasy VII in the future, but it was not his immediate plan. At the beginning of March 2010, Square Enix asked the public on its official Twitter blog what they would think of a remake. <laughs> On March 22, 2010, Square Enix CEO Yoichi Wada stated the company would explore the possibility whether or not we're going to do it, if we're going to do it, and the platform. May 31, 2010, Wada stated it would take longer than he is prepared to invest in a single project to remake FF7. However, since Square Enix received so many requests for a remake, the prospect was not completely ruled out. May 2012, Tetsuya Nomura addressed the fans' demand for FF7 remake in a Famitsu interview by saying that newer games such as uh, 15 take pre precedent because the developers want to create new Final Fantasy games that can surpass people's expectations instead of make remaking classics. 
2014. Bear in mind, like, you know, they were still working on fucking 15 for that long. I mean, mm. 10 years it took. And, and then a lot of people were like, hurry up! It's like, there must have been some sort of financial straits of a team. It's like, fuck, we've spent so much time on this fucking project. We've been doing this for about 10 years. God knows how long we've been working on Kingdom Hearts 3 for. Hmm. We've been trying to push that further back of spin-off after spin-off. Like, how long was Kingdom Hearts 3 in development for? Uh, about thirteen years. King concepts of Kingdom Hearts three began as early as two thousand and five, but the game was not announced until twenty thirteen. Came out last year. Hmm. So that was like six years, seven years, I'd say. Maybe longer because of the, the spin-offs and stuff. Like, right? oh, we could do this for free, but we need it now. We need something now, so we might as well use that. Hmm. Okay, so in February 2014, Yoshinori Kitasa stated in an interview with Eurogamer that he would love to do an HD remake of Final Fantasy VII, but that it would take a lot to make such a project a reality. Kitasa mentioned staff availability and budget as two major barriers to the broad project being greenlit, as well as his personal motivation to create it as he admitted that though he casually says he would like to do a remake, it would be a huge project. Interest listed Final Fantasy VII also, in the Also, remakes. Like, bear in mind, like, the PS3 was an absolute cunt to um, develop for. Hmm. They needed something a lot easier to handle, and the PS4 was like, that's what they needed. And then they had to I figure out how to use a console for so long. I need to see the I need to see the reactions for E uh, FF7 remake. Just look at Maximilian. Uh, Just look at Maximilian. That sums it up all all together. They were using his um, reaction with his crew just as motivation. That's how big it was. I'll need, I don't, I'll need to find that. So, that's the only start the remake project around the time. Maximilian couldn't believe it. <laughs> Tatsuya Nomura had started up the remake project around the time of compilation of Final Fantasy VII? Like, what? Compilation of Final Fantasy VII is a meta series. Uh. So, compilation of Final Fantasy VII. What does that mean? No idea. Um, okay. Uh, so, the Twin had started up the remake project around the time of compilation of Final Fantasy VII, playing it as the fifth and final entry. However, he got busy with other projects, but never stopped thinking about Seven. The team had plans for a remake on several occasions, but finally decided to do it. One of the main reasons was the time for the staff members developing the game being suitable and hitting that age. Of the staff that worked on the original Final Fantasy Seven and those who are working on the remake, Tetsuya Nomura is the youngest at 45 years old. Really? Oh, hold on, let me read that again. Of the staff that worked on the original Final Fantasy VII and those who are working on the remake, Tetsuya Nomura is the youngest at 45 years old. The team that's working on this is old! No, I, I think it's not only that. It's like him and his original crew, as well as people who, when they were younger, played the original and then went into games development. So he's not like the entire team's like a bunch of old boomers. It's like they need the young, original team. They need young people. They needed young people for the project as well because this is a fucking love in game form. 
Yeah, cause well, cause and especially since you now have younger people on the bridge as well, yeah. you kind of have like being... a fresh eyes look at the project. Uh, okay, if I was a kid, I would love to see this. Yeah, and I know how to make it, so I'll do it. And then you get the chance to actually do it. It's like fuck yeah. I get to work with the guy who made it possible the first time. <laughs> now making it possible with him again. Fuck yeah, sign me up. It's kind of like the, how they handled uh, One Punch Man's um, animation team. Really? Yeah, because I One Punch Man's animation team. People think that um, One Punch Man had like a lot of budget over it, but actually, it's only averaged at least season one. Uh, Madhouse. Um, they only used an average budget for the anime. What they did is that, of course, besides their team being talented as fuck and skilled, uh, they also hired. Um, I think they hired uh, like independent animators as well. Yeah. Uh, young talents. Mm -hmm. I I'm basically paraphrasing, but that that's you, you get what I mean. I get what you mean. Um. Okay, so with the timing and opportunity in mind, uh, Playboy says stream over. Yeah, streams uh pretty much over. We're just reading stuff boy? here. Oh hey. With the timing opportunity in mind, the trio of Kitase, Nojima, and Nomura decided to go for it. Uh, Shinji Hashimoto, a Square Enix executive and Final Fantasy brand manager, came to Kitase Nomura with the topic of the remake as he had been involved in marketing sales with the original version. He was a special place in his heart. Then Nomura assumed Kitase was to direct the remake and was surprised when he realized he had been given the role. The remake had been, will be different from the original game. Nomura said that simply overhauling the graphics would not surpass the original version. Um, he described the remake as vastly evolved to the story as there will be more work added to it. Parts of the day announcement video will be used in the game. The team will be looking to the movie Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, which Nomura also directed for visual references and inspiration. Okay. Um, my goal with the remake is to make it apply to the current era. The current generation of players are going to be coming into contact with their playing FF7 first time through this remake. I want to make it so it's relevant to the modern era as well as having an element of surprise. It has to be something to rouse up the sense of wonder and amazement. I don't want it to change it so much that it's unrecognizable, but make sure that it's something fresh and new, yet still recognizable as FF7. That's why I'll be keeping my eyes at work on this. Alright, so far, from what we've seen, he's done a good job at that. Um, so, this is 2015. On June 15, the video game website Silicon Era reported FF7 is getting a remake. It will be coming first to PlayStation 4. Other platforms to be announced later. Later that day, during Sony E3's conference, the announcement trailer for the remake showed scenes of Midgar, slums, glimpses of cloud. Cloud, yeah, uh, cloud, uh, yeah, yeah. We know, shot we know the cloud in the bag, and and everyone just freaked the fuck out. Okay, so the project had been in development for some time before it was announced at E3 2015. Yeah. The announcement decision was done to boost PlayStation 4 sales in Japan in the hopes of widening the install base by reassuring the platform we'll have the games to look forward to. Uh, okay. Okay, so it was. It was now it was in development way um some time before 2015, but there's no exact time. I think it was probably started in 2014, maybe even when the PlayStation 4 first launched. Yeah, probably 2014 because yeah. it did say here on 2014 that. Uh, that he, he just said that uh, he would love to do a remake of it, but it would make take a lot to make such a project a reality. Who knows? Maybe he was just talking shit, and he was already in development for that, you know? Uh, could be. I mean, they've probably been working on it at least as, like, uh, in prep, just in case. Like, mm. you know, you know how I say, like, break glass in case of emergency, and it's just the entire FF7 Bible. remake. It's just the entire FF7 Bible. <laughs> it's just <the> <laughs> That's what we need to do, is like, we need to do it. We, we need okay, to. So, so looking, okay, reading back on this, because it does say on the first, uh, on the timeline, that they started the remake project around the time of compilation of FF7, compilation of FF7, which the meta series was released on 2009. So maybe the idea or the, the project had already been conceived as early as 2009. 
See, I don't know what that means when it comes. But it didn't. I assume that's just all the collection or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just all of FF7. What was the last thing that was done for FF7 before that then? Hold on. I guess they were like doing the the ports, maybe. Release... No, hold on. Okay, um... Four. What do you mean? Because, four? because there's um, there's before Crisis, Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children, Last Order. Oh no, wait, five. So actually, sorry, five. So, so before Crisis. Before Crisis, that's in a mobile game. Yeah, uh, FF7 Advent Children, the uh, Last Order, Dirge of Cerberus, and then Crisis Core. Well, including the original game, that would be six. Hmm. I'm guessing that they were working on it on and off since 2009, but didn't really start being maybe active on it since being, 2015. Yeah, maybe they weren't being too committed with it until then. Mm, until... Um, where, where was it? Like maybe someone had a top secret project and go, right... CFF7, okay. work right, do mm. the script for the future, but add more shit on top of that. And it's just like. too much paper. Hmm. Because obviously, with a game like this, there's going to be a lot of budget. Uh, someone in Square had to convince the higher ups fund this. People are going to buy this. And they will love it. Well, that's the thing, it's break glass in, in case of emergency. Hmm. You know? And the thing is, they kind of dug themselves in a hole in the first place because of um, the tech demo back when the PlayStation 3 was announced. Mm hmm. If they hadn't do done that, then they wouldn't be that want for a, a remake so much but this has been waited for for about 20 years almost not 20 years like 15 T 10 years aye but the tech demo was um oh, wait. 2006 2005 actually 2005. Oh, close enough Hmm. Right. Let's, Can you let's... imagine if this came out on the PS3? This shit will be laggy as hell. If it's a good thing they waited then. Yeah. Because again, right, like I said, the PS3 was a pain in the ass for them to develop. I mean, they had to basically develop um, what would be fi uh, 15 on the uh, PS3 at first. We even released mm. it on the PS3. Like, uh, I'm very sure 13 came out on, well, yeah, 15. 
And the Xbox 360 as well, if I'm not mistaken. No, actually, I tell you, it didn't get released on the, the previous gen consoles. It was all cancelled, but they were working on it for so long. On the PS3. Until 2012, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, we have to make it an actual title. Hmm. Uh, oh, so I found the... Uh Maximilian dude's reaction to the FF7 remake trailer. Someone in the comments said the fact that the FF7 remake team used this video yeah. to motivate each other to continue when things got tough. Yeah, Max yeah. got the whole Max, MVP up in this bitch. Max, told, Max was told by the guy himself we use that video to motivate us. I mean it's that have, having fans looking forward to what you'll make is a very strong thing. Yeah. And bear in mind, like, Max is kind of in the, the industry as well. Like, he helped out with uh, Killer Instinct, if I'm not mistaken. The reason why like, Final Fantasy is a big deal for him. It is. Because, um... Have you, heard, have you seen the video of him going over the his time in uh, Final Fantasy XI? The MMO. Uh, no. The first MMO. He basically no. learnt Japanese... To play in, wait, like, he was playing on the Japanese servers, speak, like, learning how to speak Japanese, or at least type it, to do, like, crazy raid shit and stuff with Japanese huh. people and stuff, like, right? that's how he got his job, um, in the industry, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's one way, right? Fucking Maximilian's a chad, honestly. He's gonna call his child, like, Clouder, I swear to God. Or Tifa. One of the two. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Uh, he's, I kind of wish I found him sooner. But, yeah. Awesome guy. Shout out to TMX. Also, I watched your um, Akuma Boss Rage video. Ah, uh, his Boss that Rage videos are great. Yeah, he's great. All of them are great. I just... He knows how to ham it up, and he knows how to just go fucking ape shit. <laughs> he, he is the epitome of hype. Him and his group. Hmm. Have you seen? Have you seen his? Sorry, Akuma Oni. I meant Oni. To be fair, Tekken Seven Akuma. Jesus fuck! I still have nightmares. <laughs> he had to do it on the hardest difficulty. I struggled in fucking normal. He's... He's just... He's an absolute fucking hype man. Ah. Uh, I think we should call the stream there. Yeah, yeah. we should... We should... <laughs> we should. Do you still have time for Zeta? Ah, uh, I don't know. I could probably give it a go. Give, right, me, well, give me like well, five, ten minutes at least, just to... Sure, look, sure. I'll probably get something to eat, take yeah, a piss, and watch this reaction yeah, video from eat. Max. Yeah, just let me like, have like five, ten minutes, because I'm a bit lightheaded and stuff, because it's actually quite fucking hot here. I think it's because of PlayStation 4. Um, yeah. But, um... Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, if, I, if I had found the series a lot sooner, I'd honestly would not shut the fuck up. Mm. Let's see Let's see how consistent the quality yeah. is so yeah, far, though. Yeah, is it going to be see. Demon Slayer quality of consistency? Hopefully. And that's high praise. If it manages to stick, stay like this for the entire um, game, then... I'll be fucking surprised. And then they have to do the open world stuff afterward. Hmm. Fucking good luck on that, guys. I wonder how much um, they've made of that um, right now. I mean, it seems that they've all, based on the cutscenes that we've seen, because they do have the open world. Nah, I... I at least the visuals of they, it, they've the majority. At least, they've at least prepared Nibelheim. Yeah, and they have to do Nibelheim because of the the um, 
the uh, flashbacks. Ah. Uh. You know, they have to. You know, it's kind of part of. Uh, it's a big deal for Cloud. You know. Yeah. Fucking looking forward to getting the market, uh, market street. All right, we'll go cut it there, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow, right? Yeah, well, tomorrow or more like. I'm gonna go check my. I have not touched my Animal Crossing actually, so I should check on that too. <laughs> At some point. I mean, you can chill playing Animal Crossing or whatever. I mean, it's not gonna punish you too much for like leaving the day, like you know, not playing it. You might notice there's. There'll be weeds, but you're that early. Like, you've got a lot of weeds to take and stuff. I might mm. drop you some stuff, maybe for fashion. Let's, let's, call, let's finish the video and stuff, and then, yeah. Yeah. All right. it, See you this guys ramble's tomorrow. gotten way too out of hand. Alright, see y'all tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>